Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you'd like to improve the nutrition of the food that you eat through home cooking, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, my goal in my home cooking is to be able to cook everything myself as much as possible uh, with minimum use of fast and processed food. Uh, for many years, the only way I know how to make spaghetti is to open a can or a jar of spaghetti sauce. I would then warm it up and pour it over my spaghetti. I never really like spaghetti because I don't like the spaghetti sauce that comes in the jar. Uh, for a long time, I thought that I should be able to make my own spaghetti sauce, uh, but I've never taken the time to do it uh, until uh, when I visited my cousin March in Canada and I saw her did it. Uh, she not only did it with great efficiency, but she actually cooked her spaghetti as well as her spaghetti sauce uh, in her walk. Uh, not only that, uh, she did that with her grandkids, uh, which is something I witnessed, and I really thought it was a great story, and I'd like to relate that to you. Uh, at the same time, if you have never mixed spaghetti and spaghetti noodles in a walk before, uh, you will learn how to do it in this video. Uh, I have talked about March uh, before in other videos. Uh, she uh, is an excellent cook, and I have learned a lot of things from her every time I went to visit her and stay with her in Canada. Uh, during one of my visits uh, with March, uh, she's going to have her grandkid over and she's going to make dinner with them. Uh, March's da daughter, Gretchen, which I will call her for the purpose of this video, uh, worked in a local college. Uh, at the time, she was an assistant professor in theater, and she uh, received an uh, honor for being uh, selected as an outstanding teacher of the year. And on that particular evening, they have a dinner to honor her. Uh, both she and her husband uh, were going to attend the dinner, so they drop off their three kids with March. Uh, the oldest was uh, a girl 12 years old, and is followed by a boy 10 years old, and then a younger sister, she was 7 years old. Uh, as soon as the children entered the house, they ran into the kitchen right away uh, because March has told them that they are going to make spaghetti together that evening. Uh, they were very familiar with the kitchen. Uh, they know where everything is uh, because uh, March has been involved them in with cooking uh, for quite a few years. Uh, March has several walks that she uses uh, regularly. Uh, the girl immediately go up to the wall where the walks were hang, and she brought down the stainless steel walk. Uh, together with March's help, uh, the, they fill the wok with uh, water and they put the wok on top of the stove. Uh, while the water is being heated up and boiled, uh, one of the kids went to the cupboard and brought out two pounds of uh, spaghetti. Uh, as soon as the water comes to boil, uh, March turned the heat down and so the water only slightly simmering and one of the kids then put the spaghetti noodles into the wok. Uh, I was surprised how careful they were. Uh, they were very cautious uh, not to spill the water onto the stove. Uh, right there, I can see why the wok is ideally uh, designed for making spaghetti noodles. Uh, the wok she used is a 14-inch wok, and the noodles is 12-inch across, so it fits perfectly in the wok. I might give the 10-year-old boy a pair of tongs and ask him to gently stir the noodles. Uh, March also put me to work. Uh, she gave me a, a colander that fit in a large bowl and asked me to fill that with cold tap water. Uh, March set the timer for 5 minutes. Uh, when the time is up, uh, March took over from this point. Uh, he then took over the tongue and then he transferred the noodles into the colander in that large bowl of cold water. Uh, everything happened so quickly. Uh, the cook time for the spaghetti noodles in the wok is only about 6 minutes. March emptied the water in the uh, wok and then cleaned it briefly. The stainless steel wok is very easy to clean, and now we are ready to cook the spaghetti sauce. Uh, March told me that uh, cooking the spaghetti sauce is actually uh, based on what she would call a vegetable stir-fry template. Basically, you stir-fry the vegetable in the wok first, and then you make the sauce. Uh, the kids were very excited in making the sauce, and they all tried to compete with each other who is going to do what. Uh, so for this spaghetti sauce, March told me that she's going to make it with uh, onion, a green bean, yellow squash, zucchini, and Italian meatballs. Uh, since there was the uh, late fall uh, during the time when I visited them, so there are no fresh tomatoes from March's garden. So March said she's going to use uh, tomato sauce, tomato paste, as well as diced tomatoes. So okay, now we are ready to make the spaghetti sauce. Uh, March put the wok back onto the stove. 
So in this part of the video, I'm going to simulate what we actually did on that particular day. So I'm going to uh, hit up the walk uh, for about 30 seconds, and then I add about 2 tablespoons of canola oil. I heat up the oil until it starts to smoke slightly, and then I turn the heat down to low. Uh, I let the oil to smoke for another 15 seconds, uh, because this is the time when the wok is being seasoned. Uh, I call this spot seasoning method, and if you're not familiar with this method, uh, you can take a look at this video. Uh, Marge has already have everything prepped in advance, so when the kid arrive and cook with her, uh, she can have them do as much as possible. So she had one of the kids to add about 2 cups of diced onion to the wok. She then had another kid with the wok spatula doing the stirring. Much told me that she would like them to do as much as possible because they just love doing this. Next, she had the kid to add the green beans into the wok. Now in here, you notice that I am using a pair of scissors to try to cut up the green bean into smaller size. I should cut them up a little bit more. Uh, this is entirely what I am doing, but this is not what March uh, was doing on that day. Uh, cutting up the green bean actually is quite important. Uh, not only that they blend better into the sauce, but also they will cook faster. Uh, while one of the kids was doing the stirring, uh, the other kid uh, grabbed hold of some yellow squash and zucchini mixture and dumped it into the wok. Uh, March was like a conductor of a youth symphony orchestra. Uh, she have everything uh, all ready and give precise direction to the kids what they supposed to do. Uh, next, March gave one of the kids the bottle of Italian seasoning and asked the kid to shape it right into the wok. Uh, I can tell they must have done this before uh, because she know exactly how much she should put in. Uh, next, March has some uh, uh, frozen Italian meatball in a bowl and she asked uh, one of the kids to dump the meatball into the wok. Uh, now March gave the wok spatula to uh, another kid. Uh, he is now going to take over the stirring. Uh, I was very impressed how good they are in stirring the content. Uh, they stir just right, not too hot, but not too gentle. Uh, while I was watching intensity of what is going on, uh, March uh, woke me up and said, hey, you better go open up those cans. Uh, I gave the open can of uh, diced tomato to one of the kids and she dumped it in. And then I gave a can of uh, tomato paste to March, and she used a spatula to scoop them out. And lastly, I gave the can of tomato sauce to uh, the girl, and she poured them in. Uh, as the kid doing some more uh, stirring, uh, at this point uh, March took over, and uh, she's going to add some water to create the texture for uh, the dish. Uh, after the uh, right consistency has been achieved, uh, March gave a spoon to each of the kids and asked them to do a taste test. All the kids give a thumbs up to the dish, so March let the dish to simmer for another 15 to 20 seconds. The dish is ready to serve. March transferred it to a serving plate. The total cook time of the dish is a little bit over 11 minutes. The dinner was great fun. The kids love it because they decided that they actually make the dish themselves. We took whatever left over and put it in a plastic container because they want to take it back home to have their parents try it after they come back from their dinner party. Uh, after the kids left, March and I was cleaning up. Uh, March told me that how important it is for her to teach her grandkids to cook uh, because she truly believed that uh, helping kids to learn to cook is probably one of the greatest gifts in life for them. And then March smiled and she said, besides, I got them to eat green beans, zucchini, and yellow squash that they normally probably would not. And she said because of this, all her uh, grandkids love vegetables. Uh, so this is an example to demonstrate the flexibility of the wok. Uh, you can use it to make spaghetti noodles as well as to make spaghetti sauce all in one cooking utensil. So if you find this video give you ideas to help you eat healthier through home cooking, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like icon below because this will help me to reach a broader audience. Thank you for watching. See you next time.